Hello! So today we have a super special video for you guys. So obviously I'm going to sort photo cards as usual. That's my favorite kind of video to make. Um, but also I'm going to be doing a Q&A for um, when I reach 100 subscribers. Now I'm almost to 200 already, which is super exciting. So thank you guys so much. Um, I had you, some of you answer some questions on Instagram or ask me some questions on Instagram, sorry. And to those of you who did, thank you so much. I can't wait to answer them. You guys have some really good questions. So um, let's get into this. I'm going to sort photo cards and answer questions. And this is my first Q&A, so I'm kind of nervous, but <laughs> let's just get on into it. I'll start with my boy groups binder, as you can see. So I actually have like quite a few boy groups cards, which is really exciting. I have something for everyone who I collect. So let's get on into it. So, so, unfortunately, no new Blue Hour stuff yet. However, I do have a trade for this Bumgyu coming in since I bought another album and I pulled Yanju. So I do have Bumgyu coming in. And then, we'll skip all the way to this page. So I bought this album and I pulled Subin and I got to trade for Bumgyu. So now I'm just missing Yeonjun Harley Quinn. Yay, so pretty. <laughs> so cute. And then I also bought this album and I pulled Kai's card, which is awesome because it's one of the cards that I needed. So now I just need Yeonjun and Subin. Super cute. And TXT are going to have a comeback, like, kind of soon. And I'm really excited for it, but I also really want to finish Fighter Escape. Um, and speaking of comebacks, uh, now we have some in hyphen cards. Um, they recently had their comeback, which was pretty good and everything, but I did not get the albums yet. I'll probably, like, buy them and do an album haul. So I have some in hyphen cards. Let's see. I believe. Yes. We have J for this page, and we have Jake for this page. I've been doing pretty good in my hyphen collection for, you know, like kind of just starting it and not really buying any, kind of just trading. People have offered me a lot of in hyphen cards, and I'm really thankful for that. We have Sung Hoon's Linty. I have this Jake, uh, Jake on the way, yeah. We have this Jake, kind of non-selfie, but it's kind of a selfie. <laughs> like, as far away selfie. And then, we have this card. Where does this go? Does it go? No, that's a new album. We have this Jake Linty. Does it go here? No. It goes here. Okay. It goes on this page, so... Like I said, I mean, and hyphen has not been too hard to collect for me so far. I know that there are some, like, more rare cards that they have that might be, like, hard to get, like, the Apple PC for Sunhoon and stuff, but overall it has not been too bad. And then we skip all the way to Jamin, and we skip to this page, no, we skip to this page. So, I finally have his um, other, like, regular PC for 2020. Someone offered to trade it for, like, a Yuta card, I think. So, I'm really thankful for that. Cute. And then, I thought I had all of his Universe PCs, but I only have these two. I think this is the regular album and this is the like jewel case one that comes with his jewel case. So I'm missing his like regular jewel case PC. And I thought I got it but I actually got a fan sign PC in my Neokyo order which is very cute and I am gonna keep it but yeah so let's actually answer the first question so I have time. <laughs> so the first question people wanted to ask was when did you get into k-pop 
That's actually a really good question. I got into K-pop in... Okay, I'm kind of an oldie moldy by now, because I've liked K-pop since 2015. Um, the first groups I liked were EXO, that was the very first one, BTS, and BAP. And then TWICE, of course, was my first like girl group, and A-Pink. And I'm really happy that I got into K-pop during that year, because I feel like that was a really good year for K-pop, and I got to know BAP, which I highly recommend that you guys like BAP, because they are amazing. They're disbanded now, unfortunately, due to their company. But I think they had like their 10 year anniversary very recently and I just hope we can like see all of the members together again at some point. <laughs> anyway, that was it for my boy groups finder. Let's move on to girl groups. So let's answer my next question. What is it? Let's see. When did you start your K-pop collection? I think I started my collection in the summer of 2021 actually. So very recently, I've been into K-pop for a long time, and I have not been into collecting for that long. The first album that I bought was actually a Super M album that I saw at a Barnes & Noble. And I actually have the card right here. This was my very first PC I ever pulled was a Taeyong. Isn't that so cute? I thought that was adorable. <laughs> Anyway, so here are my girl group PCs. There they are. Got lots of itsy today. What's the third question? Oh, favorite group to collect. That is a good question. I think that most of you may know who it is. Um, it's Twice. <laughs> I do love Twice a lot. Um, I love collecting... I love collecting all nine of the members, it makes me really happy. <laughs> and I love how it just fills up the page, and all their PCs are quite easy to get to, so I just think collecting twice is super fun, and I recommend it to like anyone. So I do love collecting all these groups though, like as you can see I'm making more progress on Etsy. And I love collecting TXT, and I'm actually going to pick up a new group, if you saw those empty pages. Um, I'm going to be picking up Kepler, so look forward to that. I'm going to try to collect OT9, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, so the next question is top three groups. Oh my god, okay. That is like the best question ever. It always changes. Like when I first got into K-pop, obviously it was like EXO, BTS, BAP, and now I'm like, I love girl groups. Speaking of girl groups, I have this Irene. Isn't she so cute? I love Irene cards. I just wish they were easier to find. Red Velvet definitely used to be in my top three, but I think that they got beaten out. <laughs> I still love them though. I do. And it could change. It always changes. But I think that my top three groups as of now this may shock you <laughs> i think that my first favorite group is twice of course i know that i think my second favorite group is txt and my third favorite group i think is kepler <laughs> they really came through and bias wrecked me so anyway let's move on to twice oh here they are for twice i have a lot of really exciting cards to put away guys so so for this binder, we actually have like a huge chunk of cards and most of them are yes or yes cards. So finally do having some like progress on yes or yes. Oh my god guys, we're completing this set. Is that not like the most exciting thing? I'm very close to being done with um page two actually. I'm just missing Jong Yan's like brick wall card this Jong Yeon and that's all I'm missing because I have these on the way so very exciting what's the next question what is your favorite line in twice Ooh, a twice question yay <laughs> very exciting um oh guys look at this card I have saunas finally oh my god my Neokyo package came and I was gonna unbox it, but I got too inside excited, so I had to unbox it myself, so I didn't film it, sorry, but anyway, my favorite line in Twice would have to be, I don't know, they said example J-line, MacNay line rap line, 
that's really tough because my biases are all part of like different lines like Nyon, Mina, and Tui so hmm I honestly really love the onion line I think that they're really cute together actually so I'm gonna say onion lines probably like my favorite like when they interact I think it's super cute like Momo, Danya, and Nyon obviously all have very big personalities so I love it when they interact. Speaking of Nyon, finally finishing this page. Oh my god, okay, time to look at the backs. Cute! That's like my favorite backs to any of their cards ever. And then we skip all the way to Merry and Happy. Alrighty, for Merry and Happy, I have Mina's full set. And then, favorite K-pop songs of all time. Someone wanted to know. What are my favorite K-pop songs of all time? That is probably the most difficult question <laughs> I have to answer. That is a tough one. Um, goodness. I really like Psycho by Red Velvet. That's obviously a top song. Also... Oh goodness. BAP songs will always have a special place in my heart. That's not the right page, but I do have the sauna for this page. So, no, wait, I'm so confused. This is the right page. <laughs> I just keep putting it on the wrong one. Oh my god, I'm so confused, guys. <laughs> There we go, cute. Okay, <laughs> then we're finally finishing this page with Sana. Oh my god, yay! My second completed feel special, or why did I say feel special? <laughs> it's what is love. And we have two e signature card. I'm avoiding the question of what my favorite K-pop songs are. Um, obviously any Twice song <laughs> is gonna be up there for me and red velvet i think have some of the best music in the k-pop industry in my opinion uh and txt txt have some of my absolute favorite songs like rip loser lover oh god i'm really stumped on that question it changes all the time so i'm not a hundred percent sure <laughs> all right so we have one summer nights card It's right here, this Jiho. Adorable. Now let's skip all the way to yes or yes. And the next question is Average number of trades you do every month. What is the average number? That changes um, a lot based on how much. I um, have up on my Instagram for trade because, oh my god, it's getting dark. I have to hurry, but um, like if I have a lot up for trade, then I'll do like 20 to 30 trades sometimes. But if I don't have much up, I'll do like five trades a month. So that varies quite a lot. But um, I do love trading. I do love packaging cards and making them look all pretty with stickers and tape. So if you want to trade with me, you can look on my Instagram <laughs> and see if you'd like to trade. Super cute. Finally making some progress on Yes or Yes. Thank God. I definitely needed this like huge batch of cards. <laughs> I'm still missing quite a few, but... At least it's not looking so naked and empty. And then we have Mina. I got a bunch of Mina and Jihyo cards. So, yeah, if that, that's why you're seeing so many. Jihyo. Oh my god, why are the cards so hard to get in on this page? 
There we go. Cute. Nina. And lastly, we have Tio. Cute. Okay, then we have some Eurofast cards. So exciting. Alright, so we have Chewy for this page. My Chewy collection is so close to being done, guys. It's so close. It's almost there. For this page, we have Jihyo. I'm just putting these the way I want to put them. Like, for instance, I just put all my favorite cards into this set for each member, so I'm just doing kind of what I want. Um... Yang Yang's gonna go here. And then we have Jiho for this page. Yes. Awesome, amazing. Okay, let's move on to the next binder before it gets like dark outside. <laughs> I'm so excited with the progress I've been making. So for this binder, we have many cards and they're all very exciting. So first, we have some really special fancy cards. We, like, we have this Nyon finally, guys. <laughs> that is not the right page. <laughs> there we go, yay! The first page is finally complete. Next question is... Which do you like better, PCs with rounded corners or pointed corners? That's a good question. Um, I prefer, I think the all-time best PCs are glossy PCs with rounded corners. <laughs> like, for example, the Formula of Love cards. I think that those are the best photo cards, <laughs> in my opinion, because I think they look very pretty and they don't bend like the corners. And then... See, like, we're coming so close to finishing Fancy, guys. Very exciting. And then what else was I going to say? Yeah, um, matte cards, I'm not the hugest fan of, personally. I think that glossy just looks prettier. Oh my god, we're finishing this set, guys. I told you, we're really close to finishing Fancy. Yeah, Momo and Gio. And then we're finishing this set as well. We have Nyon. And Chan. So freaking cute. And then I need to add a page. I have this Feel Special set. I'm missing three photo cards though. So we have Nyon. Sonion. Sana. Dahyun. Chaeyoung. And Chewy. And then... I'm just going to put the group card in Jihyo spot for now, even though I'm going to put it on the back, so... Yes, very cute. Um, all of those PCs that I'm missing, so Jihyo, Momo, and Mina are ISOs for me, so if you have them, let me know. <laughs> and then, for Feel Special, I am just missing one card. Because I have this one. I'm just missing this Nyon. And I did buy it. So I'm waiting for that, um, and then very exciting news, we have a lot of more and more cards. And more and more is an era I definitely need to work on more. <laughs> so, for this page, we have Mina and Che. It's 
looking so full. And then we're finishing this set. So this is the first more and more set I have completed. Cute. I have this Mina card. Which I think I'm going to have another one on the way on accident. So I'll probably have her up for trade. And then I have both of these cards. So I'm also finishing this set. Which is like the best set. So very exciting. So cute. And then what's the next question? Who is my favorite Western artist? That is a an interesting one. I definitely have my answer <laughs> because I listen to her because I listen to her like every day at work with my AirPods in. Um, my favorite Western artist is 100% most definitely Taylor Swift. I have loved her ever since I was a child. I would play her on the computer at home with no headphones in so everyone could hear when I was like 10 years old. <laughs> like I love Taylor Swift I love all of her albums I listen to her every day she is my favorite western artist I would love to go to a Taylor Swift concert and my little sister loves her too so that's like something we like bond on so very exciting for this era we have all of the pre-order cards So pretty a lot of people don't like these cards because like some of them are sideways some of them are you know the right way <laughs> but um I actually think they're really pretty <laughs> I can't deny I think they're cute and I don't even mind that they're sideways I think they're quite pretty there's that page and I have the style set which is probably my favorite I guess I can answer the very last question now. Um, let me look and see what it is. The last question says, what is your favorite PC? Oh my god. Um, there's so many to choose from. <laughs> I was actually thinking about doing a video on my favorite PCs, like maybe choosing three or five for everyone I collect and talking about them. I saw Sim, aka Tread Cuddles, on YouTube do a video like that, so I was really thinking about doing that, maybe just for twice, or maybe for all my groups, I don't know. But yes, that's so pretty. I have no idea. I do have some ideas to what my favorites could be, but it's hard to choose like one per member, especially when it comes to like twice. I do have this Irene card that used to be my favorite. It was a, like, Psycho card. Finale version, I mean. Um, TXT have some of my favorites as well. So, yeah, I don't really know. Um, but I'm thinking about making a video on it. If that helps answer <laughs> that question. Oh, so that was all the questions, guys. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, it really means a lot to me um, that I made it to 100 subscribers and counting. We're closer to 200 now, actually, so thank you so much for all your support. Something super exciting, I have both of these, and they are the last PCs I need to complete Eyes Wide Open completely, because I have all the pre-order cards now. I have everything. So that page is done. <laughs> and then... Oh my god. Finally, this page is going to be done. Eyes Wide Open is finally complete, guys. I'm gonna do a flip through of Eyes Wide Open because 
I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so we obviously have the first pre-order set, the second pre-order set, and the third pre-order set. This page, the flower selfies, the flower set, the selfie in the style version, the non-selfie style version, selfie retro version, non-selfie retro version, the red background version, the yellow version, and the denim version. Oh my god, guys, it's done! I'm so happy. Now, I have some bad news for you guys. So, I know that I w said I'd probably be completing um, Formula of Love in this video. I am not. <laughs> I still have these on the way from Korea, so it might take a while. This I have on the way. I have all of them on the way. Except for this card, which I have. The rest of them are still on the way. So I was kind of cocky thinking I would be done with it by this video, but I will most likely, I'll say this time, be done with it by next video. So yay, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for the questions. Thank you guys for the subs and the likes and the comments. I love the support. I'm so thankful for all of your support. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I might do an album haul next. Maybe some Kepler albums and TXT and hyphen. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.